Hey everyone, before we start the breakdown, I just want to mention that I've started streaming on Twitch and I'll probably be uploading a lot more videos on my YouTube channel because it's a lot easier now to just clip uh, highlights off of Twitch. So please check it out. Um, remember to like and subscribe if you uh, like this type of video. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, in my first installment of Let's Break Down, I will be going over the Wave 2 Dynamics Divergence Windy Megaboss. Um, we, we, we did this with eight characters. In the main party, we have Samurai, Runefencer, Geo, uh, Geomancer, White Mage, Melee Core, and Melee Bard. Uh, the Runefencer is sub, uh, blue, so he really will not be contributing much to DPS. In the second party, we have another Bard and another Geomancer. Uh, the two Bards are fairly decked out. They both have, uh, Mythic... Aeonic and uh, Empyrean. The second Geo does not have Idris, um, but the the Geo in the main party does. Um, to start things off, before I uh, do all the before we do Bard buffs, the White Mage makes sure that the Bard has buffs before swapping. Uh, that includes Bar Era to prevent the Mega Boss's uh, TP move damage. Um, and all and you know, basically all the standard white mage uh, buffs. Uh, once the once that is done, the bards will swap and they will do soul voice songs. Uh, the first bard in the main party will do uh, DD songs, and I like to do um, march times two, one magical, and two minutes. And the reason for that is because this mob does have access to a dispel; it can use a spell that dispels. So it's just a uh, a safety net to make sure that if a DD gets unlucky and gets dispelled and they lose their march, they're not completely out of the fight. Um, and you really don't need a second Madrigal for this. I do two minutes because uh, it's very important to cap attack in Dynamis on NMs because frailty is uh, reduced. Now, the second bard is doing carols, and this is pretty important. Not only do carols uh, reduce the damage, from its arrow base attacks, but it also reduces the chance of uh, it landing stun, which is extremely helpful for this NM because it really likes to spam stun. Uh, the songs the second bard is using is uh, Wind Carol times two and Thunder Carol times two and a minute, or I'm sorry, uh, a mine, a defense song. Now, once all of that is up, uh, I will be doing uh, core rolls after I pull it. I'm going to make sure that I land Elegy on it, um, Nocturne on it, and um, Wind uh, Thranody 2. That's to help land the defense down and silence later on. The, the Room Fencer is just going to hold it here. Um, the Rune Fencer should put on uh, Rake and Gambit t uh, to help with uh, Landing Silence. I think only si uh, Rake is helpful in actually Landing Silence, but it does help. Uh, the rolls I am doing on the core is a uh, Samurai roll with Crooked Cards, and then I do uh, Wild Card. No, I think I only just do Random Deal to reset and then do... Uh, Crooked card chaos also. So pretty pretty decked out uh, buffs right now. Because th this should be a, a short as Zerg as possible. Because really you're fighting the clock uh, to kill it before it uh, unsilences. If it unsilences, it stands a chance to uh, cast Dread Spikes. And if it does that while the melees are uh, on it, it would just one shot them. The second Geo does uh, Frailty and just runs away because there's no way he'll, he'll survive if he stays close. The AoE range once it's under 50% is actually like 25 or, or farther. So once it's that low, they need, to, they need to get out of there. It does have access to Perfect Dodge. You do not want to silence it like at the beginning of Perfect Dodge or it'll kill your DPS. To, in order to land silence easier, 
I do Langor and uh, Focus. See right here it casts Dread Spike, so it's really good that the first silence resisted. Or it would have wasted a lot of time. So my priority here is just getting the Dread Spikes off first with Finale. Once it's off, I'll start silencing again. It's really important to land silence. I cannot stress that enough for this fight. <laughs> so he, he just put on Rake. So now it should be a lot easier to land silence for the White Mage. Once silence is on, we'll engage and we'll start. The the Geomancer and the main party should do Bolster right away and Indie Barrier and Geo Fury. I sub Black Mage on um Geo for Elemental Seal impact once the fight's begun. You should also use Entrust. I like to use Entrust Strength. For this fight, feel f I I just feel free to SP right away, um, and make sure you use all your job abilities right away, because uh, you should just use wild card on the uh, on the core once everything's blowing. That should be coming shortly. If you if you get the reset on your SPs, just use uh use your SPs again. But getting meditate is also really good. Getting meditate back. As you can see here, it's just melting. It's going down really quickly. Um, I believe it uses perfect dodge twice though. So yep, right here, it uses perfect dodge again, which is pretty unlucky. It has a wide range of uh, SPs to use. It's pretty rare it uses perfect dodge twice in one fight. We, we, pr we basically just ignore the buffs it puts on itself. We don't worry about that. Because you can just plow right through it. And keep in mind, though, there's only three DDs here, right? There's only a Sam, a Bard, and a Core doing deep damage right now. So if you, c if you can put the Rune in a different party and then get another real DPS, it should be even easier. Just use the same buffs. That about wraps up the video for today. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Um, if you like this content and want to see more of it in the future, uh, please drop a subscribe and a like. Um, we're very close to 800 subscribers uh, and very close to our, the 1K milestone. Um, thank you everyone for your continued support and uh, I'll see you later.